So we're back. I'm going to be reviewing a fragrance that has been out for a while that I just now got around to getting a decan of. Something I've been wanting to try. I didn't ever want to buy a full bottle of it because it is a floral based fragrance and I am not a huge fan of floral fragrances. Nonetheless, this was very well received by the fragrance community. Uh, and this is Tom Ford's Black Orchid Parfum. So, like I said, I'm not a huge fan of floral fragrances. I don't, um, I've never smelled this before. I don't really see myself wearing it a lot uh, because of that, but I want to see how it is. I've always wanted to try it, you know, at least to review it. Um, so we'll be going to this together. I'm trying to see here the notes. Uh, so it's got top notes of truffle and plum. Middle notes are rum. Uh, ylang ylang and black orchid and then base notes is patchouli sounds really good honestly the rum and the the plum it's a little truffle and black orchid it sounds like it's been pretty good pretty well balanced certainly a cooler weather fragrance um, but yeah so let's just get into it It's definitely floral, but it is intriguing. It's, it's got this kind of darkness about it, probably from the rum and the uh, the plum kind of makes it, you know, it's, it's not just like a floral bomb or anything like that. And again, with it being orchid instead of something like um, rose or, um, I don't know, you know, uh, lily or something like that, it, it comes off floral, but not powdery or like in your face floral man this is good this is good you get a little bit of the rum again that kind of just really makes it the the plum and the rum i still think the floral is the most prominent part of this which is not surprising it's called black orchid um but that plum and the rum <laughs> nice little rhyme there uh adds a kind of more intriguing um scent profile you get some of that sweetness, um, but there's this nice kind of like boozy undertone. It's not overly boozy. It doesn't smell like, you know, you've been drinking or anything like that. And like I said, it's definitely floral. I honestly think I probably would wear this now that I um, smelled it. I know I'd only wear this in black tie settings, uh, you know, formal events. We got a suit on, a suit and tie um, for sure. Maybe not work or anything like that. Maybe like a fancy date. Uh, you know, if you're going to a restaurant with a significant other or if you're going to, like I said, some sort of black tie event, uh, I think this would be perfect for that. Yeah, it's strong though. Uh, very strong. I think performance is probably going to be really good as well as projection. Um, and you probably want to go light on the trigger because... I could see this kind of bothering some people. Um, the patchouli adds kind of this, um, just dryness, I guess, a green kind of vibe to it where it's not, it's, it's not overly sweet. It kind of helps tone down the sweetness a little bit. It's still sweet, but it's not, again, it's not overpowering. It's also not overly boozy. The boozy this from the rum is a very kind of light just touch um and the uh truffle is is there but same thing it, it doesn't really it's not overpowering nor is the plum everything's very well balanced the orchid is certainly the most prominent note and it provides some of that sweetness um, but you can pick up the rest and they all seem to kind of work together very well I don't know how this dries down, but like I said, it's definitely floral. So you do have to be okay with florals, um, which no surprise. It's obviously called black orchid, um, you know, but if you are okay with florals or you don't mind them, and again, keep in mind, this is not like a rose or um, anything like that. I think you would enjoy this. Uh, again, though, it's very limited. So honestly, this 10 mil probably this decant will probably last me a long time because it's not a whole lot of settings that I'll really wear this in. Um, like I said, I wouldn't wear this at work. It really would just be like some kind of formal event. But that said, it is good. Um, as it dries down, 
You get more of the patchouli. Uh, like I said, it kind of just gives this almost like a uh, dry, um, I guess, just kind of herbal vibe to it. Um, but it smells really good. It's like I said, it's definitely it's definitely formal. I don't think there's anything I'd run out and buy. I still think there are things I would absolutely choose over this. I think YSL Tuxedo, um, I would wear over this. Um, you know, obviously I would wear Leighton over this. I would wear uh, quite a bit of things over this, but it's it's still good to have, I think, in the collection. Um, but yeah, it's really in that dry down, you're getting a lot of floral, and you're getting a lot of that patchouli. It's coming off kind of herbal-like uh, with some sweetness. The plum is not very prominent. It's there, but it is in the back, and so is the booze. But it's good. It is good. It's certainly unique. So uh, it's definitely worth checking out a decan of it. But like I said, I don't, I don't know that I would buy a bottle of this because it would last you forever. I think the decan's going to last me forever. So anyway, it's my first impression.